WGO FM Springfield, Missouri, and on the web at jock987.com. And good afternoon and welcome to Talking Women's Sports. This is Lisa Chankler here, and I'm got a Karen Fielding here, and it's good to be here. I know we don't have Reba, we don't have Becky, and Reba was on our way to go to the in Missouri State's game up in Moline, Illinois, that got canceled, and Becky's over at the Missouri State High School, and she's going to share some information on that later, because that's all changing, too. We have mm -hmm. this little bug out there called the coronavirus um, that is affecting a lot of lives, particularly in the sports world, and you know, everybody's been hearing about that. And we'll probably go through a lot of that shortly, but in the meantime... We've got a great show for today. We do, and, and who did you wrangle in here for Oh, us? I wrangled in here Sean Saunders today. He has been with us before, so welcome, Sean. Thanks, Brad. Right. Yeah, he's yeah. a PGA member and runs SWS Golf, and he works out of Redline Athletics, and he's going to bring, uh, actually he's going to talk with us today about some of the great things that's going on with him and uh, his business, so we're happy to have him today. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sean, we really welcome you to the show. You know, of course, I have a passion for what you do. Yes, yes. So. And so do I. <laughs> I, benefit <You> direct, <laughs> I, I benefit directly from what you do, so that's a good thing, being a, me, uh, being a client of yours, so. Awesome. I do appreciate that. So, Karen, since you are that. a client of mm -hmm. his, tell him what it is that you, what he helps you with and, and why you chose to do that. Well, initially I met Sean uh, through a ladies' golf clinic, and mm -hmm. um, he was trying to promote uh, women in golf and getting those of us who had never played before started. Yeah. So it was a great place to go, and um, I will say I just had a, well, okay, no, a huge issue with uh, rotation, <coughs> which is kind of, one of those things that you need in order to swing a golf club uh, correctly. And he immediately said, I can help you with that. Uh, so I got involved in a program uh, that he does called Functional Fitness, Golf Fitness, mm -hmm. that um, I guess we've been working on that for a little over two years mm -hmm. yeah, and has good. made great strides in uh, just overall fitness and the game. And so he is really... Uh, honestly been a blessing for me because I'm able to do a lot of things uh, mobility wise that I wasn't able to do before so that allows me to be active and play the game and do some other things too so that's my connection with Sean and golf great I yeah. love it yeah I love it you're exactly the type I know Sean does a lot of clinics in the summer and mm -hmm. um, you're exactly the type of, of person we're trying to get more involved in golf as a whole number one you, you've luckily been a teacher for many years we get to take the benefit of, of retiring at an age where you can still do master a lot of different things mm -hmm. and golf's such a great piece that can happen for all for a lot of people that have that opportunity so exactly. um you're a shining example of that mm -hmm. yeah so sean tell us a little bit about your golf performance programs that you've got available yeah so uh as you guys just said i train out of uh redline athletics in, uh, by, by Farmers Park, um, so that's my main location now. Um, the golf, as you know, the golf uh, industry is changing quite a bit uh, from the training standpoint because of, you know, Tiger Woods started it, and then it went to, you know, Brooks Kepka, Dustin Johnson, you know, all pretty much all the top players in the world are making uh, fitness a huge priority, so their body. Um, so that's really, the process starts really with the assessment. So I assess the body, find out what the golfer can physically do, um, so we're not guessing, um, and then we try to work on not only on obviously swing movement patterns, um, but also work, working on improving mobility, stability um, through that. And I do that through Tyler's Performance Institute. Uh, so they're the kind of lead on golf fitness, um, and we call it the body swing connection. Awesome. I know that the TPI Tyler's mm -hmm. Performance Institute that takes requires a lot of training on your part. So yeah. you're very well skilled um, with. With that title just alone uh, and, and making those assessments and we don't have very many in town that have that ability uh, Jenna yeah. Dr. Yeah, Jenna Curry yeah. she's, she's uh, one but she does it through the Cox yep. uh, sports medicine or physical therapy um, so you're more accessible in some ways that you can, you can people call you and yeah. get set up yep. so take us yeah. through what, what would they do for the first time so when you come to me for, for the first time if you're a beginner golfer or just learning the game, um, I do what I call a foundation program. So that's what I call phase one. So that's the clinics, the stuff like that that I've done with ladies. 
Um, we, you know, teach the grip aim setup, a lot of the, the same lessons I taught as, as just a PGA pro. Um, and then the next level, I call it golf performance, coaching, and training. That's where we do the assessment first, find out what they can physically do so we don't, you know, keep them from getting injuries, things like that. It's really important in their health. Mm -hmm. um, so they're playing golf long term. Um, then we, you know, work on the coaching side of it, and that's coaching not only the skill. So there's many skills in golf, you know, from cutting all the way to full swing, um, you know, contact, divot, you know, all the, all the things that go into that. And, um, and then we, you know, we coach on the movement patterns. So uh, everybody has what we call a swing characteristic. Uh, it's just a matter of how bad that swing characteristic is. So uh, one of those swing characteristics is uh, loss of posture. So a lot of golfers, they try to fix that by trying to keep their head down. Um, I don't agree with that. I think it's important. You're going to move your head as long as your spine stays in posture through impact. We maintain what we call our body angles. Um, so that's what I help people do. Yes, I, I focus on the head. Um, but I also focus on movement, um, and we call it kinematic sequence, how you use the ground uh, from the ground up. So that means your, you know, where you, how you move from the backswing, downswing, and then through impact. So it all plays into your skill. So, and this is something not only a beginner is going to benefit highly from, but even mm -hmm. the most advanced players out there yeah. can even benefit more, particularly your whole program. Yeah, it's it's definitely holistic. I have uh, teamed up with other um, experts in their field. Um, so I've teamed up with, you know, a chiropractor, um, you know, medical side of it. Um, I've also teamed up with uh, Grips Golf um, on the equipment side. So it is definitely more of a holistic trying to get them to perform their best on the course. So it's, it's not a quick fix approach. It's more long-term fix. Um, but as Karen said, it's definitely worth the investment, mm -hmm. your health. You can't really put a price tag on that. Um, but also if you really want to improve your game long-term, um, you have to really follow the process. So it took me about 10 years to figure this process out. Um, you can go to my website, sbsgolf.com, and you can see the process and the steps that I follow. Um, and I keep updating that as I learn. Um, I went to two World Golf Fitness Summits, so I not only learned from the best coaches in the world for golf, but also coaches that coach the Olympic sports, different how they do it. Um, so I've kind of taken more of a holistic approach to that. And you really... You cater to all ages, correct? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Everybody needs it from, you know, we all have bad posture as I'm sitting here like this, you know. Okay, we'll change our posture yeah. there. Thanks. But uh, but it's oh, definitely, it, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, you're a, you know, I work with kids from junior high, mostly all the way up to, you know, a 65-year-old um, that's losing their mobility and their balance. So every, every client has their limitations. Um, they have their struggles. Um, my job is to try to find the source of the problem, not just the quick fix. And sometimes I have to refer out to another professional that's outside of my scope of practice. You know, you bring up the 65 year old or mm -hmm. even the 50 plus because mm -hmm. our mobility does, I mean, yeah. probably starts to dwindle even before then. Yep. But I don't think what people understand is they can maintain it a lot longer. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. as their body weakens in certain areas, you're going to, your help will strengthen those areas yeah. and improve other areas so that they can stay in the game and still feel like they're playing the same game they were playing or game they were playing 20 years ago. Yeah, I've had multiple, With wisdom, yeah. Yeah, I've had multiple clients um, that are, you know, mid-60s that have played their best golf of their life. And yeah. that's because they didn't really understand uh, the process. And I didn't, honestly, a few years ago. So I learned it uh, recently. And, you know, the assessment's huge, but, but putting the work in every day. Um, so it's def definitely not a one-time lesson here, you know, and there. Mm -hmm. It's actually coming, and, and you get the you get the tools, um, and that's my job is to give you the tools, and then it's the client's job to put in the work. Okay. And so just like physical therapy, you know, you got to right. do your <laughs> to get better. Do your homework. Um, you got to do your homework. Yeah, I call it homework. And then also the mental side of it is huge for golf. So you could have you know perfect body, you could pass all the screens, you could do everything from a physical standpoint. But if you don't work on the skill and the mental side of it out on the golf course and transfer it to the golf course, you're never going to reach your potential and shoot the score. So that's where the process, the final step is I actually do on-course assessments now where I actually go out on the course, um, whatever course they're a member at or where they play at. Um, I'm going to actually track each skill and, and I can quantify it. So then we can see exactly where they're struggling the most, where their scores are adding up, and then we can build a – a plan of attack after that. So then I give them drills, um, how to practice effectively, 
and what to focus on. So the process steps that go into each shot. So pre-shot routine, very, very important. Now you have some technology within yeah. your workplace that yep. you use too. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so technology, I, I mean, there's a ton of technology out there that um, uh, I use a launch monitor called a SkyTrack. So that's important because I teach indoors. And so it definitely takes the guesswork out of spin rate, um, launch angle, uh, ball speed, you see ball flight. That's the first technology that's really important. So we can kind of see skill-wise what their ball is doing. So we can see what the face angle is doing at impact and then how that reacts to the ball. Um, so if you have a consistent shot pattern, that's, that's usually a good thing, but we got to control it. So if your shot pattern turns in from a fade, which is going left and right, turns into a slice, then we have an issue. Um, so you can't control your distance. You can't control where the ball is going. Um, that's a lot of it. It's trying to get my clients to understand how far they hit it and then also where the ball is going to go so they can hit their target. Um, so if they can minimize that, I always tell my clients, the, the person that misses the smallest wins. Because um, yeah. everybody misses, it's just a matter of how bad they miss. Um, and so when, if you can manage that, you can shoot lower scores and, and do exactly. perform better on the court. Exactly. Well, regardless of where we are in our skill set, if we wanted to do more for our game, how do we reach out to you to say, hey, can you help us? Yeah, so right now I am pretty booked after school because I work a lot of high school kids, college kids. Um, so weekend, Saturdays are good days, um, and then um, obviously during the day. Um, so I'm looking for those, you know, retired people that are looking to improve their body and swing. But um, you or can a lunch date. Yeah, yeah. A little lunch date. Yeah, you can come during that time. Um, I, I would just uh, contact me. Just go to swsgolf.com. That's a good way to get all my contact information. And uh, my email is swsgolf at pga.com. You know, plus even in the summer months, like a like a lunchtime mm -hmm. lesson is is valuable because you'll be indoors it won't break yeah, that sweat they don't yeah. have to worry about that cleanup don't worry about skin work. cancer all that stuff. <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> you're gonna play outside yeah let's still play outside wear your sunscreen yeah. but yeah. yeah it's nice for me because um that is concern is i was teaching outdoors um you know seven eight months out of year and i was getting you know just killed by the sun yeah. so so now you know it, it's good for my health so you know being indoors is nice um having a controlled environment so wind is right. how many times is it rainy out you know yeah so, so yeah that. they can yeah we don't have to cancel as long as they can get there right exactly <laughs> so, yeah. so now you've also started something else kind of near and dear to my heart yeah, right? yeah and yeah. it's called college Lo golf, golf local. local yep and can you tell us what that's all about yeah so kevin cream he's a professional golfer he played for university of colorado he went to Central, um, played here locally, um, an awesome guy, and he's sponsored actually by Convoy of Hope and working with them, and so just a, just an awesome person, and so we he came to me, and we got to know each other. I didn't really know Kevin before this year, um, but we got to know each other, and he had a mission of, you know, he helped other, uh, Dawson Beak and some of the other uh, local juniors, um, you know, get on the scene for college, and so Dawson's going to be going playing for Mizzou. Um, so that's awesome, and, and kind of told me about the process, what that takes, working, you know, being a resource for him and give, helping him build a golf resume, um, reaching out to the coaches, communication, all of those little things that a lot of high school kids don't think about. So most of the time, and I see this with my kids that I've worked with, they wait till their junior or senior year, and they kind of have unrealistic expectations because by the time they actually start the process, it's too late. Mm -hmm. And so what we're trying to do is educate not only my clients, but all the, all the kids that are aspire or dream to, to play college golf, you know, um, and so yeah, and get started, especially division one or division two and, mm -hmm. and NAI, you can start a little bit later, but, um, if you, you really want to set yourself apart, that's a great way to do it. So we're mainly an affordable resource, not like some of the other agencies and stuff that are around, um, it's very, very expensive. So a lot of these families can't afford it. So we're trying to be a resource for uh, all golfers that want to play college golf. Right. And you're yeah. focusing solely on golf, which the other recruiting right. services yeah. focus on a lot of other sports. Yes, exactly. So, Sean, yeah. uh, how can they find out more about that? Yeah, go to collegegolflocal.com. We have a list. We've reached out to all the coaches in the 300-mile radius around Springfield. So mainly Oklahoma, you know, the four states around us um, and the southern states. And so that's that's really what we're focused on, building those relationships with those coaches. Um, so, you know, we can we already know them. Right. So it's great because we can, you know, tell our, my clients or whoever comes to us, we can say, OK, this coach is awesome. We, we know them personally now. Um, this is what they offer and, and what they, they have a roster spot, because that's a lot of it is there's only so many spots. Right. And so a lot of these kids, you know, maybe they 
you know, they, we just want to give them the best opportunity. So that's awesome. what we're doing. Yeah. Well, Sean Saunders, we appreciate that you came sure today. Thanks, and, uh, guys. We start yeah. off the day with something great. Yes. I'm sure the rest of our conversations today might yeah. not be quite as cheerful. So remember, golf is outdoors. Yes. Away from a lot of germs. Mm -hmm. And it is springtime. It is spring. It's beautiful. Time to get out there. So yeah. call Sean or, or look him up at swsgolf.com and get some information and get out there and and learn this beautiful game or, or just get better at it. So. Yes, I'm all about health, so I'm staying healthy, so okay, good, you don't good. have to worry about all that other awesome. stuff. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. We really right. appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, guys. So, okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we have C.J. Ball, the women's head coach at Drury University for Golf. Hey, guys. Host awesome. Nice job. Thank you. Good job. That was great.